Yo, what is up? This is Lil Boats today here with more military knowledge. Today we're going to be talking about buying a car in the military. I'm going to show you my car, show you and give you tips on buying a car in the military. So there's my car. She's new. She's a 2020 Hyundai Elantra. So she's new. I got her back in, I would say, August here. So yeah, that's my car here. I paid about $18,000 for that with a $5,000 down payment on it here. And yeah, that's kind of my new car here for you. I'm gonna show you the interior real quick here. Here's the inside. But yeah, there's my new interior. There's my driver's seat right here. It's pretty nice, the consoles and stuff are pretty nice here. If you wanna look at the consoles, it's um, it's, a, it's an automatic, so that's nice. My, <laughs> my windows and stuff. And then there's my back seat. It's just Decent sized back seat for a car I paid for. It's a decent sized back seat. It's not too bad. Headroom's pretty good. So that's a big thing. Here, this is my new car here. So, yeah. Okay, now that I kind of showed you my new car, we're going to come out here and kind of give you tips on buying a car here in the military. So, one of the big tips I'm going to give you, and this is finance, they're going to tell you you're going to go through so many briefs on this in the military, is watch out for them trying to scam savers. Like, they, a lot of times people will go out here, try to scam you, and say, hey, I'm gonna give you this brand new car, so be careful, especially with this like we're pro military, all this. We give military deals to this. You gotta be careful with those dealerships out here. Cause a lot of times they will try to prey on you and be like, Well, he's a new state. He just got here to San Diego, he has no car. Let's go prey on him. So you gotta be careful for like people that will try to prey on sailors, they will try to get on you. So you gotta be careful when you're buying a car out here. Cause you gotta watch for those. Honestly, if you're gonna go buy a car, my only suggestion go to a credible dealership or like CarMax or something credible. Something like CarMax or credible dealership or whatever and get something right. Because if you don't, you could be potentially getting scammed. Another thing you got to be careful for when you're buying a car is make sure you're able to afford it. Like, make sure you go and can actually buy a car. Don't go buy this new $100,000 Tesla because, hey, I want to buy a $100 Tesla. Because if you can't afford it, they're going to they're gonna get your money out. Especially if they know you're in the military, they're just going to take it right out of your they're gonna, they're gonna get your money somehow. So you, if you want to actually get out, enjoy it. You don't want to spend all your entire paycheck on the car. Make sure you make the deal right. Because make sure you don't go buy this too expensive hundred thousand dollar car. You have no money for your food, or groceries, or whatever you want to do. So yeah, you gotta make sure you be careful when, on that. Is make sure you can afford your car. Because if not, and that's gonna be a big thing that could hurt you. Another thing here that I get a lot of sailors is financing. Like where do they finance? And I'm telling you, be careful when you finance with the dealers. Like, me, I financed with Navy Federal here. Because they, they gave me 3.44 APR. They gave me, like, a paycheck. And pretty much you go there, right? And they're going to give you a check, a pre-approved check. Like, you say, I want $20,000 pre-approved loan. And they're more than likely going to get it to you. And have, like, their APR and stuff. You go and give the check to them. And if it's, like, 15000 you only pay 15000 You don't pay the whole 20000 You only pay 15000 Whatever you pay for your car is what you pay in the Navy Federal. Plus your APR. So a lot of times you're going to be paying as if it is, but your APR can be 3.44 compared to dealerships, 8, 9, 10, they try to print. So be careful when you do that. Here's the finance, I personally finance the Navy Federal, but like USA fan instances, and if it, if the dealership gives you a finance of like better deals, look at that. If it gives you better deals, take it, but honestly, the best, sometimes the best way is to do Navy Federal or USA, and a lot of times if you go through USA and Navy Federal, I know for me, they'll take it, your car payment out the 1st and the 15th. So like, honestly, I'm paying like 250 on my car payments or something like that. I only pay like 110 every paycheck. It's just going to take right out and pay towards my car. So that's a big thing. Is it gives you the first and 15 for it. And the regular dealership are going to take $300 out of your paycheck all of a sudden all at once. And that's not necessarily the best thing here. If I'm paying only $100, it's a lot less noticeable here for paycheck. So yeah, that's a big one. Another thing is be careful because your insurance is going to be a lot of money. A lot of people get expecting, oh, I'm going to try to get this new friend deal. I got this good deal on this. And they go and get their insurance, and their insurance is a lot more than they expected. Like, it was for me, honestly. When I bought the car, I didn't expect my insurance to be as much as it is. But insurance is a big expense, especially if you're running a sailor out of high school. You're in, especially out here, I'm in California now. You may not be in California, but if you're in the Navy, you're either going to be in California, you're going to be in Virginia. Or Washington driving pretty much gonna be driving a car either in those three states. Washington and California aren't cheap cheap. I don't know how much Virginia is, but they're I know California isn't cheap. So a lot of the places you're gonna be it's gonna be a little more expensive because they're a lot of times off the beach, nicer, more expensive areas in the Navy per se. 
so you're going to be paying a lot more. So you got to be careful with your insurance here. And even if you're not living it, insurance for anybody, a male under 25 is really expensive. So yeah, you got to be careful with that. Insurance is going to be one of the biggest things when buying a car. It's going to be getting unexpected price, but it's going to get a lot of people. And yeah, so that's kind of my tips on buying a car here. I might make some more if I can think of more. But yes, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe here, hoping you guys help you out. If you have any questions about buying a car or anything, you can email me, message me, whatever. I can help you out with that. So make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you on my next video.